This here is our new WD4 series windrower. It comes in three different sizes. We have the WD1504, which is 150 horsepower. It's a 4.5 liter engine. We also have the WD2104, which is 210 engine horsepower with a 6.7 liter engine and the WD2504, which is 250 engine horsepower. These new wind rowers have Tier 4B SCR only technology used in them. There's a, a lot of new things we have on these wind rowers here. The first big thing, like I mentioned before, is gonna be the Tier 4B engines in these units made by FPT. Uh, the second thing I'd like to tell you about is when it comes to the hydraulics. And what we have on these, we have a hydraulic steering system. What that does is it allows us to have a factory installed auto guidance as an option on these machines. We've had quite a few of our machines that are ordered with that, putting the auto guidance on the wind rowers so they'll drive themselves. It also helps with our high road speed on these at 24 miles an hour. That's the fastest in the industry, so you can go from build to field as quickly as you can to get one more field in before the end of the day. Another thing we have is uh, in our control center up there, we have a, a fuel saver mode we call APM Road. What that does is it allows the operator, when they are in high road speed, uh, to pull back on the handle if they come to a stop. And after three seconds, it's automatically going to reduce their engine horsepower from, or, sorry, their engine RPMs from 2,000 down to 900 our engine RPMs. That's going to help save with fuel. It's also going to reduce the noise in the cab. The cooling uh, package on these wind rowers has also been redesigned. We now have a steel box with a steel uh, lid or door on the cooling system. And what that's going to do is with the rubber seal in there, we're going to have a positive seal. And what it's going to do is it's going to help prevent any dust or dirt or debris getting stuck in the cooling system and plugging it up. When it comes to cabs, we have two options for the cabs. The first one's going to be the standard cab, and the second option is going to be the deluxe cab. The deluxe cab, new for this year, has a Bluetooth satellite radio. Uh, we also have an AFS Pro 700 display. That's going to be available in both cabs. And the nice part about that is it's the same uh, controls panel and system that we have on our tractors, our combines. Most of the guys up here are running a sickle head on the machine. So we've got every different size of head you can imagine depending on what the operator's wanting to do on his operation. 